looking dapper. And that's why you are my favourite scavenger, Leafin. Also, Avak said we get fair account if enough people. No, I did not say that. No, you liar. Well, it seems that it seems one girl. Look at it. Hello, shivery bum. Hello, shivery bum. Oh, no. A bit too shivery. There we go then. Gas. Rewards. Oh, sweetie pie. You're shivering. Oh, they woke up by themselves. They were awake when you went in, nobody. Okay, that's fine then. I love you. Do you want a little bit more? Do you want a little bit more? No? You happy? Oh, I'm going to have to... I have to stop people from dying. Hang on, hang on. I'll get you some more. Calm down, it's alright. It's not coming anyway. You're not without food. I don't know what you're trying to say. Come on. There you are. Right. Scouts have reached the lost expedition. Once they reach an unexplored site, scouts will await your orders. Hello, Tilly. Um, to issue them, click highlight icons. Okay, short description of the site, searching may provide. Scouts will often need your decisions on how to deal with what they find. Scouts carry the resources they recover with them, so in order to make use of those resources, you need to call them back to the city and wait for their return. All right, sweetie. She stopped shivering now. All right, all right, one, one last thing, then I'm off for the night. Okay, I see how it all. Thank you so much. That is quite quite the last thing. Thank you so so very much. Ah, oh, sweetie pie. Yeah, I know a little. I'm not sure if you can see her feet shivering, but she's super excited, and so her feet starts to quiver. Oh, pick them up. There you go. Oh, sweetie pie. You think the Jenny's at 90%? Yeah, it is. We're going to co cool it down. This is going to make people unhappy. Also make people sick. That sucks. But that's what I have to do. i got to keep people alive, sweetie. Okay, give me a kiss before you go back. Uh, no, no. I want a kiss. Stop looking at your treats. Give me a kiss. You, you sell out. Mm -hmm. Bye bye, sweetie pie. <laughs> Thanks, you love. There you go. All right. Oh, that was Tally, Clarissa. Sorry, I miss people asking which one. I I forget. People can't tell. Um. Right. So, there's loads of things we need to do. Lost expedition. The rest of our people made camp here. Too exhausted to go on. We should escort them back. Search the area. A happy reunion. We enter the camp, appearing out of the driving snow. A choir of excited voices welcome us. Thank God you found us. We'd been wandering for days until we couldn't go on any longer. Soon we'd begun to starve. Children and adults surround us, panicked and ready to go. Oh, sorry, packed and ready to go. The sites discovered a crash site and a sturdy shelter. Escort the survivors to the city or send them back. Survivors will get, will set out towards the city on their own. It will take longer and some of them may die. Or we can lead them back ourselves. Uh, we'll have nine engineers, four workers, uh, sorry, 22 workers and four children. Uh, our scouts are going to lead them back. I, I'm not, I'm not going to have that, that uh, lady reunite with her family only to have to separate again with an uncertain fate. No, that, that would be way too cruel. Escort the survivors to the city, please. You know the way back and it'll insert, uh, ensure that they get back here. Uh, let's go to the city. Right there, oh, thank you very much. Bits for the ferrets. <laughs> I can't believe that is an actual command on Nightbot. Avak has to be ferrets. Midna, Tally, and an albino named Siri. Can't tell the difference between Tally and Midna? Don't worry, none of us can either. <laughs> oh, Everyone needs someone to love them as much as Avak loves the Dukes. Oh, that's sweet. Uh, Avak, you know what would be a great mechanic? 
Grinding animal bones into fertilizer for plants. That would be a good incentive to hunt more. Ah, I guess so. Uh, do the ferrets and the cat get along? Uh, the cat is too skittish to be around the ferrets. The ferrets want to interact with the cat, but, the, but Tilly does not want to. Uh, right, so they're going to be on their way back. Now the problem here is this is going to get really bloody cold. This is going to be very, very cold. And we're going to see a lot of people getting sick. Got three people in palliative care. <sighs> okay. Well, it's going to be rough. It's going to be very rough for a little while. For quite a while. We need to get that heater up and running as soon as we can. As soon as we can. We need to let the Jenny chill out for a little bit. Hopefully we can repair it. Uh, consumption, 96 day. Uh, we're not actually bringing in enough, I would say. We'll see. Tilly is a scared cat. Yeah, Looking she absolutely dapper. is. Oh, Mrs. Fainor just subscribed. And splush goes the cup. Thank you very much for the subscription. Please put some love in chat for Mrs. Fainor. Oh, Fianor. Actually, I think it's Fianor. Okay, I love the, the the trails people carve as they walk around. It's so cool. Work time. Get moving. I know. I wore oh, so many sick peoples. So many sick peoples. The expedition trails faster following a known route to a surveyed location. Is this the scout party? Might be. Um, no. Hunt is returning from their hunt. Very well. We're so close to the temperature rising again. What's the... No, it is it is repairing, so that's good. It is getting back to normal. Uh, wood crate depleted. Good, 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 good. Uh, we'll get those energy straight back out. Sorry, but I really do need all of this stuff depleted. We're, we're actually getting to the point where I'm going to worry about this. Because we're, we're going to get to a situation where we're not going to have very much. It's worrisome. Okay, that 3928 is bugging my number OCD. So I need to make it an even the 4,000. <laughs> I, I can't say anything against that, Icy Heart, because I would be exactly the same. Uh, scouts from number from number one have returned safely to the city, with a lot of people who now need homes in, in the frozen environment. Ah, oh, I didn't think that went through. Uh, can I rename this scout group? Maximum number of scouts reached, but can I, can I rename them? Scouts number one? No, no, I can't. That's a bit of a shame. Okay. Well, let's get back out there then. Got a crash site, a sturdy shelter, an observatory. We're going to go to the crash site. Uh, several wrecked vehicles, no signs of life. They are probably our machines. Let's hope so. We had to leave a number of supplies in them after the crash. Then yes, go out there. 20, 20 hours, we need those supplies. Get out there right now. 35 homeless. That is going to go really bad. Really quick. Uh, we need we need homes. We need a lot of homes. Right. Well, I plan to build. Uh, huh. I guess I could build up from here. On either side, it's, it's not exactly the best use of my space, though. Be perfectly honest. It's not the best use of that space at all. It might be better if I move that later. How many tiles does it take up? One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it would fit, I think. Well no, I I'm, it's hard to tell, but I think we'd have enough room there to fit that perfectly. But for the time being, there's not much we can do. I simply need to place down two, three homes, possibly even four. Let's get three on the go. It's going to be cold. And there is nothing we can do about that. Oh, little cutting. 
You've not you've not swapped your previous situation for much of a better one, but at the very least, you'll be with your families. Uh, people from our convoy re reunions. It's heartwarming to see families reunited after so many hardships. But shouldn't there be other settlements nearby? The first expedition left London long ago. They ought to be well established by now. They'll surely help us find our footing. We will look for the others. Ooh, that's pretty cool. In before. That seems like the obvious, obvious one. Seems too easy if we're like, What? You made it as well? Oh, fantastic! Come along, we've got this awesome walled city with defense turrets and a huge bonfire in the middle. We just have naked dances all the time. It's great. That doesn't seem like it would fit in with the, the atmosphere of this game. Search for others. Our people found the trail leading into the wilderness. We should follow it. We must find other people and ask them for help to secure our survival. Uh, a little bit more time before we can uh, set up the next bunch of stuff. I want more people working. All of the workings, please. All of them. All workings to be worked. Now. Steam Hub researched. Hooray! Steam Hub to create more heat zones. Thank goodness. Uh, heaters may be also. Generate a power upgrade and generate a range upgrade. 50 wood needed for that. Tempting. Uh, more scouts. Plastic gathering sawmills, all sorts of things around here. Coal mining. We need that wood. Have we got much more of it left? We've got little bits around the place, but not a huge amount. I think it's going to be imperative that we get the sawmill up and running. So I'm going to take 10, 10 wood, but we need to secure our resources. Right, for the time being, toggling this back onto overdrive. Let's get people a little bit warmer, please. Let's try and manage our sick. We're still not doing terribly. Most of the, the ill who could be treated have been treated. However, uh, we're going to have to wait a little bit longer. But we can pass... Oh, no, we can't pass a new level yet. Sorry, that was a bit premature. Abba, can you research bigger homes yet? No. No, I can't. You may or not be building on the bones of the former expedition, considering this tower was just here for, a, for no reason. That. See, Wolfie, that's a very good point, actually. That's a very good point. Very good point. Frostbite, a citizen, became gravely ill. That is unfortunate. Someone who doesn't have a place to go. Right, okay, we've got a new law. Let's have a look. Book of Laws. Got our engineering apprentices. We can push over crowding or we can get a care home. Because right now it's not that we've got too many sick, it's that we've got too many gravely ill. Uh, would triage be what we need to go for? I wonder. The gravely ill and amputees will be cared for at low cost in the special home. Uh, kept alive in care home and no longer a burden to the medical post. Residents at the care homes eat half as much. Hope will rise. Uh, we need it, so we're going to get it. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. 30 wood is needed. We've got enough to do research, though, so let's get that research happening. Need the sawmill. Start that up, please. Now, as far as heating... Oh, they only require steel. When powered by the generator, these contraptions create additional smaller heat zones around them. Each active steam hub consumes three coal per turn. See, if we can place this somewhere... Oh, I need to need it to be on a street. If I place it here, it's going to hit all of these buildings. If I place it here, it'll hit quite a few as well. Um, I think I need it about there, actually. Because these are all pretty cold. Hey, Avak, Frost Pump looks like a lot of fun. How are you liking it so far? I'm really enjoying it, um, Feedrun. Really, really enjoying it. Uh, yeah, Lady Sheila pretty much uh, sums it up. Um, North Scorpion. Well, uh, curly fluffy things started climbing all over the place. I think I'd be scared too. Yeah, and that, that, is, that is part of the reason why Tilly got spooked by the ferrets. The other part is that 
Tilly was a little bit, um, you know, standoffish, as cats are. Tally just wants to investigate everything and be friends with everything, more or less. She just, she just wants to play, and she got a little bit close. And uh, Tilly hissed, backed up, hissed a little bit more. Tally was like, hmm, let's keep going. I want to be friends. And so uh, Tilly drew a, 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 her hand up. She was nowhere near fast enough to be quick enough to catch a ferret. They are literally, uh, they are coiled springs ready at any moment to making possibly swift changes in direction. Um, but at that point, Siri came to investigate and then proceeded to chase Tilly around the kitchen. And surprisingly, Siri is much faster than Tilly. You'd think a cat would be a lot faster, but no. <laughs> And uh, Siri was desperately trying to catch hold of, T of Tilly's tail. That that from that point on, Tilly just uh, just noped out of anything to do with the ferrets, and uh, that's the way it is, really. Uh, right. Now we have selected laws specifically with the idea that we're going to be able to treat the gravely ill in time. I'm hoping that the care home is a step in that direction, but it might not be. So we're going to have to look into that. But the main thing right now is to definitely get this up and running. I'm thinking about here would be one of the best places to put it. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to need to run a, a road around here. That road should already be being built. Hopefully. Uh, it means more beds and food for the rest of us. Uh, it Indeed it does, that's not why I did it though. I need five workers to please get these things done quickly. She is getting more interesting than recently though. Yeah, yeah, Tilly is, I, she's starting to pluck up your courage a little bit. There's been a couple of times where where Tilly's been moving around and, and Tilly's been kind of um, just chilling out and they've gotten close to each other and it hasn't elicited an immediate fear response from Tilly. So, no, there's, there's that, but still. 87%. Got to keep a very close eye on that. Very close eye. Please get this road made, guys. Super now, please. I doubt this game would be kind enough to tell me. Oh, uh, yeah, you're about to kill yourself. It's all going to come down to me keeping an eye on that. There we go. Now they should get that sorted. I know the generator stress level is critical. Okay, pull it back. Okay. It does actually give me a little bit of, of, uh, of warning. That's actually a little bit kinder of it than I was expecting. Right, let's get this. About there will do. This will give me a little bit of extra heat. It'll also heat up this area and a couple of the areas around it, behind it. Which is not bad. Let's get these built as soon as we can, please, people. Once that's done, we can get this running again. And lots of things will be a bit better. Canis Rufus. Well, work tomorrow, so I should head to bed and catch the rest on video later. Take care. I'll take care, mate. I'm glad you dropped by. Uh, I didn't have enough wood for the road. Ah, okay. I think the thing with cats and ferret is that cats are more mobile. They're not necessarily faster though. Ferrets can't jump like cats can. Um, like Tilly can leap from the ground up onto pretty much any of the surfaces in, in just one jump. There's no no way in the world the ferrets could do that. So Tilly can easily get out of the way of the of the ferrets, but she struggles to out outpace them. Uh, whether that's typical of all cats and all ferrets, I don't know, but... Uh, there we go, and this is up and running. 24 hour workday, 10 hour workday from... Uh, I can only... Oh wow, that can be set to have a bigger range as well, okay, that's pretty cool. Right, this is now able to get some people working there, so let's have everyone working there to convert all of this food as quickly as we can. Actually, that's going to come with way, way more food than I need. Uh, 
Well, they can make 60 a day. That, that's fine. Go ahead and, and do that if you can. But we desperately need that food. Hopefully, our scouts will get there before too long. Right, let's have a look at the current heat. It's not terrible, but it's not great either. Not terrible, but not great. Uh, can I overdrive that? No, I can't. Okay. And I can't do this one. Well, maybe I could. Maybe I could. I wonder if this would heat up in the same way. I wonder if that would... It might do. Yes, it does. Very good. But I wonder if that causes it to uh, break faster. I wouldn't be too surprised if it did. Uh, however, we've got five people without homes. Who are they? I think they're children. I think they may well be children. So given that, I am going to build a new child shelter as soon as the opportunity presents itself. Ticket, Hickson. It was nice and relaxing. I will see the rest tomorrow. Of course you will. Greg Ken, inventing a boiler that doesn't explode is hard. Uh, yes. Yes, it is. I do need to get a lot more hunters now, yeah. Generator is critical. It's going to have to stay at critical for a little bit longer. Uh, I also need a lot more resources. I desperately need them. Uh, I could build another hunter's hut, actually, down here. Likewise, I could build another hunter... Well, actually, I don't need the hunter's hut there. Because that's got enough heat. I could build the hunter's hut out here, though. Which would be fine. Yeah, get that on the go. We're going to need people out hunting. We desperately need more food income. And the next thing that we're going to research once we've got the... Uh, once we've got wood coming in... Oh, that being said, have we got any more metal here? Yes. Yes, we do. We do have some metal. That's fine, then. Not a whole lot more. Pause for a moment. It is at 95%. Let's turn that down. Uh, turn off overdrive. The generator stress levels are critical levels. You have to turn off the overdrive. No, I see. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's done. They're not going to explode. It's okay. Um, cold at work, cold at home. Yeah, I know. I know. What I am going to need, however... So once that's built, we should have enough room for heaven, because there was a couple of children here. Let me just bring up my uh, population. Yeah, got 19 ch Oh, actually only four children. Right, so that isn't really going to help that much. I don't know how quickly children will mature. We've not got a lot of steel at the moment. So worrisome. In the extreme. We'll see. The scouts will get there just as the uh, new workday kicks in. There are seven sick. Nine, ten sick. Only one is gravy. Oh no, these are all the people who are sick currently who don't have a medical facility. Ouch. Medical post can go down there. Back down to 80%. Well, we should be okay in a moment because it's going to warm up. We're doing fine, th all things considered. Uh, are you sure about that? I'm not sure about it. I need... Everyone back from there, and everyone out in to work there. So we arrived 15 a day. Uh, right, scouts have arrived. Explore. That's where our expedition was split up when our vehicles crashed during the snowstorm. Some of the precious supplies should be there too. Fate of the Forgotten. There is plenty of priceless supplies in the wrecks of our expedition. Searching among the crates scattered in the snow behind the wrecks, we found the bodies. They are tangled together in a single frozen mass, as if these people were trying to find at least a bit of warmth just before they died. We can do nothing for them, not even bury them. Oh. I wonder if I could have... Oh, if I could have... If I had a cemetery. Damn. Yeah, the milkshake's gone. 
damn, that would have been good. I, I feel there's a lot of stuff to uh, explore. I'm going to have you guys bring bring all those resources back because I feel like we need them. But I feel there's a decent amount of replayability in just different things you can do. Again, uh, cemetery up and running early might uh, change the way that, that uh, event happens. That would be pretty cool. Right, temperature should go back to 30 to minus 30. Like Canadian temperatures at that point. Building insulation, heat zone, minus zone weather. There we go. Now livable temperatures there. And around the main area. Yeah, everything is is livable, more or less. That's fine for the time being. Get to work. Move, people. There's plenty to do. There is plenty to do. Get out there and get me stuff, please. Uh, no, it was minus 20, then it, the temperature dropped by two points, and it's going to drop back to that place soon, so we really do need to get better at heating ourselves. Coal is going down much faster than I would like. Much, much faster than I would like. We need to build that care home too. But that's going to require 30 wood. Is there that much wood left? It's a coal pile that we're excavating. Are there any more wood piles that we're going for? Coal pile, coal pile, coal pile. Hopefully... Well, it's going to take five hours for our workers to come back. Coal, coal, wood. Sawmill research... Ah, oh, thank goodness. Build a sawmill near frozen trees to start cutting them down for wood. Will do. Once I've got enough to do. Uh, oh no, we can do that. Only ten wood. Base heating level is only 10, though, so it's not going to be particularly warm. Um, looks like I can just build it anywhere there are frozen trees. Not adjacent to a street, yes, I know, but we could build it there. I, I don't know. Uh, I guess I, one would assume that the more frozen trees, the better. Doesn't look like it really matters. There's interesting icons all over the place. Ooh, over there it seems like a really good place. But there's a... There's what looks like a tree right there, though. Um, it doesn't seem to indicate that I need to be near that, but let's assume that I do, shall we? Problem is, it's going to cost me a lot to build this out. More than I've got. Much more than I've got. Well, I need an extra tent. This is not a particularly uh, good setup here, but let's bring this out and then up. And then we're not going to have enough for it. But four hours and they'll be back with a bunch of wood that we can use. Main thing is to lay the, lay the tracks for it. Correct. Alright, the amount of trees determines the max wood you'll get out of it. Okay. People are doing their best. Let's uh, wait the three hours that we need to get this all set up. Scout team has arrived. They brought a lot of wood with them. Thank goodness. Right, okay. So there's a couple of things we need to, to work on right away. We've got the sawmill. Steamworks, coal thumpers, they can be done later. Uh, right now, I really need better hunting gear so that we're getting more food coming in. That'll give us, I think, 60 food... Uh, 60 um, meat 
which would turn into 120 rations per day. Let's have a look at my resources. How much are we going through in food? We're gaining 90 food rations a day and consuming 110 food, food per day. So that's all right. That wouldn't be too bad. Uh, we would we would be at a sustainable amount at that point. Okay, sawmill. I could place it here. It seems it would get a decent amount of stuff. So let's make that happen. And then just draw this little road out just a little bit more. Just because I'm finicky. There we are. We are going to need extra housing though. You're also going to need another child shelter. I feel. Uh, I do feel that we need an, an extra child shelter. We could pop the child shelter here. And I'm feeling that that would be why. Oh, I, oh drat. Almost. You could almost fit it. I can sort of fit it in there if I move it up one by one, but not quite. Could have shown that. Um, the child shelter will at least be warm. There will be that. Uh, but there's a lot of things I need to build, actually. Let's get the health. The care home base heat level of 2. As well, can I, that fit in there? No, not quite. We could build this over here, since it will be warmer by itself. I, I think we have to go for this though. At the minus thirty, it's only going to make it livable. It's not going to make it comfortable. And I want my the gravely ill to be comfortable but of the two I care more about the children being comfortable for the time being and I know that that's kind of rough but gotta be pragmatic about this uh, right so we're gonna then want an, a care home somewhere around there like maybe there and finally we're gonna want another medical post now how hot is the medical post base heat level of one so we're going to need to prop this one down about here. Along with a new road. And also a new home. There we are. Quite a few things to build, but it'll be worth it when it's done. I may need to set something up there. Right. Let's get your care home. There we are, as established in accordance with the new law. Hope rises. Fantastic. One promise fulfilled. Lack of medical care. We'll get there. It's unfortunate that we've got so many who are sick. Because this isn't going to care for enough of them. But it is what it is. Uh, we've got an observatory over there that we go and check out. Or we can go to the sturdy shelter. A bulky cylindrical construction stands on the small hill. The Union Jack flies over it, but there is no sign of movement. Our brothers and sisters. No sign of movement. It doesn't sound good, though. Um, can we not get over there? Go. Let's go and find out what's, what, what's happened there. A Dark Ava playthrough would involve a lot of silent green. Yes, absolutely. We're not, we're not Dark Havoc at the moment, no. No, absolutely not. We had such a delicious, tasty milkshake and also ferret cuddles. Hard to be Dark Havoc. More sick beds needed. Captain, some of our people are concerned about the rising number of untreated sick. They're asking you to address the problem. Uh, you'll have three days to admit one third of the sick to treatment. I promise the sick will be treated. I will open a new medical post. Well, okay. The question here: Do I maximize the 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 space in my medical posts with a law, which we'll be able to do within three days easily? Alternatively, I can just build another medical post. So, 
What do you think we should do? And thank you so much for all the bits, Carney Fox and Ockham, my lord. And everyone who has been, been cheering. Unfortunately, I get a little bit of tunnel vision now and then. Can I even build another one right now? Yes, but it would be difficult to, to staff it would be the problem. New post seems like the better option. I don't think it will strain my uh, my resources to build another medical post. So I'll open a new medical post. That'll be my promise to the people. However, I do need to make sure this one is staffed. And I need engineers to staff it. So where are my engineers? I've got five engineers over here. Let's pull back five of those. Get all of you in there. Please and thank you. Healthcare promise fulfilled. Oh, right. That it was that simple. You help the sick. They and their families are grateful. <laughs> all right. Uh, it's not going to treat everyone. And the three sick there may get worse. But that was uh, fairly easy. And thank you very much, Blaine. Thank you so, so much. Hey, Arab. Uh, doing all right. Trying to survive the cold at the moment. Trying desperately to survive the cold. Area effects. All structures in the city must be connected to the generator with streets. Otherwise, they won't function. To build a street, open the construction panel. Blah, 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 one wood per section. Uh, oh, they actually have gas along there. That makes sense. Uh, area of effect. There are two types of buildings with an area. Some buildings, like the sawmill, have an area effect which the resources can be gathered, and some others, the area in which they can affect people. For example, the house of prayer, or places, for the field kitchen. Okay? Makes sense. Oh, makes sense. At the moment, I don't strictly need to push this, but... Right, the sawmill is built. No, oh, actually, I, I need them working there. Uh, this is wood crates over here. No, they, they can continue to strip from that. How much does this produce? Workforce will gather wood. Well, there's at least one worker. I mean, it's no colder than over here, so... Actually, that place is a little bit better in, in many ways. I'm going to leave a couple of people over here to strip this one down. We'll get two per hour, but the rest can move over here. Um, I would also like... Oh, well, no, I need the coal. I do need the coal. Uh, we've got the metal over there. Actually, no, we're going to move some more people over to the coal because we do need it. There we are. We'll get that done. Now, we've got the child shelter built. Generally speaking, no one is homeless right now. Just a couple of people sick. We could build a new new item. Uh, Avak, are you going to do this battle tackle both? Uh, both. I see no reason not to. The, the thing with streams is I do one stream and I might play a game for nine hours. I can just alternate the game I'm playing every other stream or every two streams I switch it for a few days. I don't I mean, it depends. I mean, some people only want to see one type of game, and it'll generally be the newest type of game. But I'm not that way inclined. I I tend to swap the games I play fairly frequently, otherwise I get burnt out on them. Um, like, in my personal time, like I'll play one game for, for a dozen hours, then I'll be like, eh, you know what, I'm still really enjoying this game, but I'm going to put it down, and I'm going to play something else. I'm in a different type of mood. So having a, a couple of games, especially ones in different genres, is actually really, really beneficial for me, because it allows me to alternate what I'm playing. I want them both .jpg. Why not both? <laughs> uh... Uh, 
let's see. Research next level in workshop and then upgrade to generate. Yeah, I, that's what I'm, I'm feeling is going to be the next one. I do, however, you know, I really want to make sure that we get the... Oh, actually, I don't need everyone working here. We no longer have the amount of food coming in to necessitate that. So let's get things working instead. Oh, will they? From here? Oh, no, they're just working along... Ah, oh, that makes sense, actually. Um... I'm going to max that out, and we're going to try and get rid of these piles around the place. Uh, and uh, progress a little bit better, but we'll see. You know what? I could run this on overdrive. To reduce the chance of people getting sick. Maybe. Citizens lack medical care, so they're a bit discontent. And I do understand. I, I do. I do, but there's not a lot I can do about it right now. Pass a wee bit of time. Uh, oh, this hunt, this hut does not have everyone in it. Let's max that out then, please. There we go. That should be fine. And we can get a new law. Okay. So we've got the, the clear house. We can get prosthetics. Everyone wants to contribute to the survival of the city. If we can bring amputees back to full fitness, we should do it. After introducing this law, another one can be passed. Uh, we'll get prosthesis in a factory. I don't think we have one. Amputees fitted with prostheses in medical facilities will be able to work again. But well, we don't have any amputees yet. Cemetery or corpse disposal. We don't have any dead yet. But then maybe I should have built the cemetery ahead of time. Either that or extra rations for the ill. Getting people back on their feet sooner is a higher priority than most other things. But having this would allow... It'll be a little bit of discontent whilst they're there. But it doesn't cause that, dis that discontent... Well, it'll rise slightly when I introduce it. But it'll only cause the extra discontent when the capacity is being used. Fighting a public. Oh, yeah. Dueling. <laughs> the dueling bill. That sounds good. You've got a grievance. Duel. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Thank you very much, errant gentleman. What a sir you are. I bet you, if you were, you were going to partake of the fighting arena, you would definitely be wearing fighting trousers and smoking jacket and a pipe. Um, oh, someone said building the cemetery didn't change our event. Ah, okay. That's a shame. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Uh, people in palliative care are not amputees necessarily. I believe it should tell me that they're amputees. Let me just uh, pause that for a moment. Uh, in the care house. Can I... I just... I just believe that that means that they're gravely sick. I think it just means that they're gravely sick. Uh, I could be wrong about that, but... Um, there's an amputee icon. It's a crutch. Yeah, yeah. I, I was assuming simply because it hadn't told me that anyone was amputee, uh, was an amputee. It just said that they were gravely sick. And I, I have specifically chosen a law which does not use radical treatment. We use to sustain life. So when someone becomes gravely sick, we try to care for them as best we can. But we don't try any radical treatments, which can lead to amputations. It seems that if you get cold enough, it can be am an amputation no matter what, which makes sense, actually. But um, for us, we they just become, uh, well, in all reality, a burden on the colony because we are feeding them, but they're not getting better. However, hopefully we can later on uh, make them, make them well. And I think getting to triage is going to be the option for it. So it really does come down to extra rations are overcrowding, chat what do you feel you prefer rations for the sick go extra rations with the sick so they recover quickly this doesn't look like Mars what am I looking at here <laughs> very true 
Uh, maybe it's, maybe it's Mars on its cold days. Um, actually, no, temperature is probably fairly similar to Mars. It's just Mars lacks the precipitation. Double rations, but don't forget to get hunter gear upgraded. That's already going for it. So extra rations it is. We can feed sick people extra rations to help their recovery. Use extra rations in medical facilities to speed recovery. Sign that. 